Hello, in this tutorial I'm quickly showing how you can add a ceiling to the room so it doesn't rain into it. Um, and the result we are going to achieve is, if we enable this again, uh, is that we now have a ceiling. Um, right now the ceiling tiles are the same as the floor tiles, but uh, since we will create it so that we have this separate node here, we can uh, change this uh, as we want. So we can select a different mesh if we have one and a uh, different offset. Um, yeah, with that said, jump into, let's jump into the code. In here, in order to create the ceiling, we are going to change this loop to only return the top point, one above the existing points, because our roof is uh, not at the bottom layer, but at the top layer. So right now we only cre uh, create these points for the walls, but we want these points. And we're going to do this by adding a variable to this, which is a, which we call return ceiling layer, return ceiling. This is a rule, which is default force. We're going to add a branch in here uh, based on this and we hook this up and we can uh, create two custom variables of type integer. So integer, this one, this one. This is our first index, first index, and this is going to be our last index, last index. We're going to set the first index and the last index. Um, if this is false, uh, we're going to set it to zero and the one we already had. And this one right now goes to here. So we are going to uh, get the last index and hook this up. So right now this goes in here and here. The last index has to go in here and the first index has to go in here because we are creating variables for this. And do this, hook this up. And if we want to create the uh, <laughs> only return the ceiling, uh, then we are going to set it to be the wall amount. So copy this, copy this, uh, get the wall floor amount. Uh, do I have still the wall amount? Uh, uh, okay, let's lose the <laughs> low amount. I don't think we need this wall amount. Yeah, we don't need this. Uh, let's lose the floor amount because that's the variable we need. Uh, floor amount, floor amount. And floor amount minus one. So, and now like this. So this, the last index here is floor amount minus one. And on the top, it's the floor amount for the first index and the last index. Hook this up, hook this up. And let's hope we didn't break anything. We did, uh, we broke something. Uh, we broke something because we probably, oh yeah. We move this variable and we are setting this. So um, yeah, make this public and uh, sorry for this. We are going to hook this one up to here and this one up to, up to here. That was a slight mistake. And now we should be good again. Uh, four, 10, yeah. Um, for the ceiling, we are going to um, create a new wall stacker here, which only returns the uh, ceiling points. We make this public in our wall stacker, compile save, which only returns the ceiling. And then the only thing we have to do is hook up the, the property again into the floor amount. And we uh, yeah, we just have to use this transform points and now we should have a ceiling. Yep, yeah. that's 
all the magic there is. So just um, uh, just changes. So it returns the first index and the last index as the floor amount. And make sure that the variables are all <laughs> named correctly. Last time we changed them, so now it's a little bit was a little bit messed up, but it should be fixed now. And um, maybe we need to clean this up a little bit. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope to help you and yeah, bye.